Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be doing this makeup look using all affordable and drugstore cruelty-free brands. Now, I myself am not cruelty-free exclusive. To be honest, I'm not that educated or well-informed on the topic. But I know a lot of you do like to use cruelty-free makeup. So I really wanted to do a video showcasing these brands. Please no hate in the comments to others who are not cruelty free. If you do have something informative to share though, go ahead. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe and let's just get straight into the tutorial. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to be starting off with a primer by Designer Brands and this is the Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. I asked on my Instagram the other day if you guys wanted to see a full face of BYS makeup or designer brands and designer brands won by a mile. So hopefully I can get that video going soon because they have a really big range and their makeup's not bad. To color correct my blemishes, I'm going in with my Astralis Color Click Green Concealer. This one is actually a really good option if you're new to color correcting because it is a very pale kind of pastel green. So it's not too vibrant. It's going to blend into your skin a little bit easier. And I just think it's not as scary to work with as some other green color correctors are. For foundation, I'll be using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation and I have the shade F1. So this foundation has a large doe foot applicator, so I just like to swipe it over my face. Now this shade is a tad dark for me, so I'm going to be using my Astralis Matchmaker Lightning Drops. This is just a white liquid that you can mix in with your foundation to make it lighter. Definitely a staple if you're as fair as me. Now I do have a full review on this foundation, so I'll link it down below for you if you want to see it. And exciting news if you're in Australia, Makeup Revolution was actually just introduced to Priceline. I'm not sure if they're in store or if they're coming to store, but it's definitely online and all, I'm pretty sure there's 50 shades of this foundation are available. So there are some lighter ones than this. I just haven't had the chance to pick them up yet and test out the shades. I'm just going to go in with another light layer to build up that coverage. And by the way, the brush I'm using to blend this out is my Sigma F82 Round Kabuki. Now, I wouldn't say Sigma brushes are within that drugstore price range. I do have a discount code though, which makes it a little bit cheaper. But if you are after some more affordable, cruelty-free brushes, then I've had a look and brands like Astralis do brushes. You've got Colourpop, um, Elf make makeup brushes, Real Techniques, Flower Beauty, and also designer brands. So there are quite a few to choose from, and I'm sure there are plenty more out there as well if you just Google it. I always feel like once I put my foundation on, everything gets much brighter because I'm so dang white. So let me just turn the brightness down for a minute. <laughs> for my concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter. I haven't used this in so long, but it is one of my favorite concealers. It definitely has a medium coverage and it comes in some really, really fair shades. So I have 08 and 04 here. I'm going to go in with 04. Like, look at that coverage, just wow. To set under my eyes and the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Models Prefer Mineral Powder Finishing Veil. Now, this one is a little bit of a gray area. It's one of Priceline's own brands, so it doesn't have a website dedicated to the brand. So I couldn't really get a lot of information on whether it was cruelty free or not. But I did come across this and it says, a representative for Priceline has stated that models prefer do not test on animals. However, they are not listed on any official cruelty free list. In this case, PETA says there can be some doubts that the brand is 100% cruelty free. However, it has not been proved that models prefer do not test on animals. I don't really have a big powder collection and the other ones I have aren't cruelty free, so this was my best bet. 
But if you have any recommendations for cruelty-free loose or pressed powders that are super fair, then leave me a comment down below. For my bronzer, I'm going in with a classic. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And to blend it out, I'll be using my Designer Brands Angled Contour Brush. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, love it. Okay, I am so impressed. This brush just applied that bronzer so beautifully. It gave a really light application, but I was able to build it up. Loving it. I'm also going to take a little bit and just pop it around my hairline, around, around my hairline, just to warm up my complexion a bit. For blush, I'm going in with quite an oldie. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I'm just going to use the same brush to apply this. This blush is literally like a YouTube classic. I love it for my fair skin tone because it just gives that really nice glow and it does have a bit of a, a sheen to it. So I really love that in a blush because I find it just makes me look that little bit more healthy and radiant. If you ever feel like you go overboard with your blush and bronzer, which I find I do all the time, I just get my sponge and just tap over the edges just to kind of soften it a bit. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Palette. Now, I wasn't going to get this one because it does have three different shades and I thought, I'm not going to use them all. But when I did my testing a Flower Beauty video, everyone was like, you need to get the highlighter palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. So as per your recommendations, I went and picked it up. This shade here is perfect for me. It's so beautiful. I can use the pink. The gold, I can probably just get away with, but I don't think it's something I would dip into all the time. So I'm just using my Real Techniques fan brush and I'm going in with that first champagne shade. I think I might actually go in with just a tiny bit of that gold because I feel like my bronzer and my blush do have a more of a golden undertone. So this will blend in nicely with those colors. Now for my brows, I'm going to go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Taupe? It's just one of those words. I don't know what it is. Now NYX is owned by L'Oreal and L'Oreal are not a cruelty-free company, but Peter states on the website that NYX still remains a cruelty-free brand. So in with this pencil, one end has a spoolie, so I'm just going to quickly brush through my brows. And then I love how tiny this pencil is. So I'm going to start by drawing a line underneath my brows. And then I go in and draw some hair-like strokes in the front, just flicking the pencil upwards. And then I do the same throughout the arch here. And then I go along the top and draw in the rest of that tail. And then to set my brows in place, I like to go in with probably one of my most favorite affordable products there is. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and it is in the shade 01 Blondie Brows. So this has a nice tiny little wand so you can be super precise. It's going to tint any blonde hairs and it also just adds some volume and bushiness to the brow. All right, now it's time for eyeshadow and I always like to prime my lids using a concealer. So I'm going to go back in with my ColourPop concealer. And while I'm here, I just carve out underneath my brow just to make it look a bit more neat.
So for my eyeshadow, I'll be using the BYS Bloom palette. I recently did a first impressions and review on this, so I'll leave that link down below. So I haven't set my lids, they are still wet from the concealer, and I'm going to go in with the shade Raw and pack this into my crease. And then I'm going in with the shade Blushing to blend out this shade. And then in with an even lighter shade, this one is Plump to blend that out again. And then in with some concealer, I'm going to do a cut crease. I'm going in with the lightest shimmery shade called Starlight and I'm going to pack this onto the concealed area. And then to blend that outer edge, I'm starting with the lightest shade and I'm just going to pat that here. And then I'm going in with the second deepest shade and just patting that onto the edge. And then in with the deeper shade. I think I might just spruce this up a little bit. I'm going to take this Astralis Shimmer Pot in the shade Nearly Naked and just add a little bit of the loose glitter onto the lid. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a mix of all three colors and really smoke it out. And for mascara, I'll be using my Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. I am really loving this mascara. I got it in a brown black shade, which I really like for every day. I think it's just not as harsh, especially on my fair skin tone. All right, I am going to finish the other eye and I'll be right back. And then for my lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. And then I'm going in with the Astralis Girl Boss Lipstick in the shade Couture. I know you're all sick of me using nude lipsticks, but it's just my life, okay? Okay, I promise I will do a dark lip look soon. Okay, soon. <laughs> And then I'm also just going to put a little bit of this ColourPop gloss in the shade Fairy Floss over the top. And then to set everything in place, I'll be using my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. Alright guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and this tutorial was somewhat helpful for you. If you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. Make sure you all have your notification bell on too so you are notified when I upload. I am experimenting with my upload days at the moment, so it could be a little bit all over the place. So make sure you got that bell on. All the brands I use today will be mentioned down below in the description box. If you have any other questions, make sure you leave me a comment and also leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite cruelty-free brand is. All right, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.